match handled all welcome if you new. um it's been a while since i've been back here if you didn't know this i am deleted all my videos but hopefully by now i put them all back because i'm just having like a little crisis moment because i didn't know what i wanted to do with this channel i kind of lost my idea of like why i started it but i started it because i wanted to just vlog things that i wanted to vlog not there's not a niche for this channel really but i'm gonna have a focus on books a little bit but also kind of just like daily vlogs not daily um but just things that i want to share things that i want to document today i'm doing a book haul these books i ordered from um book outlet i don't remember what i have in here so it's gonna be a surprise for me and for you so let's get into it i'm pretty sure a lot of these are gonna be romance though because i was definitely in my romance era i still want to it's so pretty look at the dust jacket honey and spice and everything nice no it's just called honey and spice sweet like plantain hot like pepper it says praise for bolu babalola I hope I pronounced that correctly. I honestly, I don't remember what this is about. So, cover is just black, but that's okay. We'll just keep this dust jacket on then. Yeah, I don't remember what this is about, but I do remember seeing it all over book talk. So, you know what? Most of these books I did order because I seen them on book talk. So. Let me read this summary. Sharp-tongued and secretly soft-hearted, Kiki Banjo has made a huge mistake. As an expert in relationship evasion and the host of the popular student radio show, Brown Sugar, she's made it her mission to make sure the women of the African Caribbean Society at Whitewell College in Southern England do not fall into the mess of situationships, flares, and heartbreak. But when the queen of the unbothered, whoa, when the queen of the unbothered Kisses Malachi Khalid, the guy she just publicly denounced as a wasteman of Whitewell. In front of every black Wellian on campus, she finds her show, her show on the brink. That's tea. Their son, oh my gosh, I can't read. They're soon embroiled in a fake relationship to try and salvage their reputations and save their futures. Kiki has never surrendered her heart before, and a player like Malachi won't be the one to change that, no matter how charming he is or how electric their connection feels. But surprise, something tells me that's wrong. But surprisingly entertaining study sessions and intimate, the late night talks at old fashioned diners force Kiki to look beyond her own presumptions. Honey and Spice is full of delicious tension and romantic intrigue that will make you weak at the knees. I'm excited for this. What else do we have? Oh yes, the blood trials. I know this is a series. I know it's a series. I don't remember what it's about, but I, again, I've seen it on Book Talk and I'm excited to read. This is giving me like, wow, <laughs> motivation. I've kind of been in a reading slump, um, but I just picked up um, All About Love by Bell Hooks. My goal is to read 50 books. Well, it was to read 50 books this year. I've only read five books. <laughs> And it's July. It's July 2nd. Um, so, I'm a ways away from my goal, but it's okay. It's just a goal. So, if I don't make it, that's okay. If I do, that's okay too. But that's the update. I'm 5 out of 50. Well, 6 in progress, but the trials. Oh, yes, look at me. It's book one. Me, if I see a good book and it's a it's in a like it's part of a series i'll just get the book like not even thinking which part it is and then i have to wait so i get the other books so i'm proud of myself because this is book one because i know it is i think oh it's a duology i don't even know how many books i got wait six well yes six books to show ya it's all about blood Blood spilled between the Republic of Marine and the armies of the Blood Emperor long ago. The blood gives of Marines deadliest enemies. The blood that runs through the elite war houses of Marine. The rules of the tribunal dedicated to keeping the public alive. The blood of the former Legitus? Legitus? Commander? Okay. 
I'm new to fantasy, so the terminology and all that stuff is going to take me a little while to get used to. The blood of the former commander, Vern Amari, murdered. For his granddaughter, Ikenna, the only thing steady in her life was a man who had saved Marie. A man who had trained her not just in martial arts, but in harnessing the blood gift that coursed through her. Who trained her to keep that a secret. But now, there are too many secrets. And with her grandfather assassinated, Vern, spoiler, Kenna knows two things. That only someone on the tribunal could have ordered his death. And that only a prior, Praetorian, Praetorian, Iberian, Praetorian, Praetorian, I think. And that only a Praetorian guard could have carried out that order. Kenna is willing to risk it all because she needs to find out who murdered her grandfather. And then she needs to kill them. Slay literally sounds like an exciting read like i said i'm new to fantasy so i don't know how i will like it but it sounds good it was, um has a lot of good reviews too something that i do need to get into good reads because i know people um go in there and rate their books and you know leave comments blah blah, blah. um i think it tracks your books too like your book goals yeah i should definitely get into that and i just found my kindle i lost it it's a kindle fire it's like from a thousand years ago what's the next book i should get next book Ooh, what does it have a sticker on it i think this is another collegiate um romance or the teenagers pause i'll read you what the back says i think these are like um quotes from people this book is a celebration of black love black teenagers black friendship and the black family and i adored it from the beginning to end prepare to swoon liddell's love radio gives voice to some of the sweetest hopes and the hardest truths readers won't be able to get enough of these dope characters we've been waiting for an author like ebony liddell love radio is mega swoon worthy okay swoon worthy um effortlessly cool and full of heart turn this one all the way up again this is from tiktok i really don't i wish i could tell you guys like what i knew about these books but i forgot like this was from a long time ago i'll just read you the summary wait that's not even what they're called what are they called summary excerpt no yeah summary um, you get the gist i'm reading the gist i'm reading the gist prince jones is the guy with all the answers or so it seems after all at 17 oh it's a teen book let me just let me read this thing um prince jones is a guy with all the answers or so it seems after all at 17 he has his own segment on detroit's popular hip-hop show love radio where he dishes out advice to the brokenhearted prince has always dreamed of becoming a dj and falling in love but being the main care or being the main caretaker for his mother and his little brother means his dreams will stay just that and only romances in his life are the ones he hears about from his listeners oh. until he meets danny ford danny isn't checking for anybody Ooh. she's focused on her plan a senior year score a scholarship and move to new york city to become a famous author but her college essay keeps tripping her up and acknowledging what's blocking her means dealing with what happened at that party a few months ago Gee. and that's one thing danny can't do I need to know. When the romantic DJ meets the ambitious writer, Sparks Fly. Not Sparks Fly, okay. Um, Prince is smitten, but Danny's not looking to get derailed. She gives Prince just three dates to convince her that he's worth falling for. Mm -hmm. Three dates for the love expert to take his own advice and just maybe change two lives forever. Not this book being ages 12 and up. Um, excuse me, I'm looking for Oh, it has a, what does it have a mark on it? Lucky him have it. Stay calm. Seems like a good read. I'm just thrown off. I didn't know these were all like teen romances. But it's okay. Let's see. What's next? This book has a dot on it too. This book was actually a spontaneous pick. I do remember. I just read it on, um, on Book Outlet. I just saw the cover. I was like, okay, this is a cute little certain vibe. And, um... I saw the cover and then I read the summary. I was like, I can might get down with that. Let me refresh my memory and yours. Um, it's called The Romantic Agenda. I have two books left, so we're almost done. Joy is in love with Malcolm. 
Malcolm wants to date Summer. Summer is in love with Love. And Fox is Summer's ex boyfriend. This is messy. Wait, 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 wait. Joey's in love with Malcolm. Malcolm wants to date Summer. Summer is in love with Love. And Fox is Summer's ex boyfriend. This is T. 30 flirty and asexual. Joy is secretly in love with her best friend Malcolm, but she's never been brave enough to say so. When he unexpectedly announces that he's met the love of his life, and no, it's not Joy, she's heartbroken. Ooh. Malcolm invites her on a weekend getaway, and Joy decides it's her last chance to show him exactly what he's overlooking. But maybe Joy is the one missing something, or someone, and his name is Fox. Fox sees a kindred spirit in Joy and decides that- what was I thinking? Thinking this, but I don't know. Fox sees a kindred spirit in Joy and decides to help her. He proposes, they pretend to fall for each other, what? On the weekend trip, oh, to make Malcolm jealous, okay. But spending time with Fox shows Joy what it's like not to be the third wheel, period. And there's no mistaking the way he makes her feel. Could Fox be the romantic partner she's always deserved? Yeah. I'm gonna have to bump this one up just so I can see if my book picking skills are good or not. Please look at this cover. It's so beautiful. It's a heart, but it's really a girl, and this is her dress. That's so creative. I love it. I don't even know what this is about. <laughs> Looks like we're in a nose array. A gothic tale. Okay, that's why I picked it. A gothic tale full of mystery and romance. Hazel Sinet is a lady who wants to be a surgeon more than she wants to marry. I know that's right. Career first, girls. Jack Kerr is a resurrection man. Did I read that right? Is a resurrection man who's just trying to survive in a city where it's too easy to die. When the two of them have a chance encounter outside the Royal Edinburgh Anatomist Society, Hazel thinks nothing of it at first. But after she gets kicked out of renowned surgeon, Dr. Beachman's lecture for being the wrong gender. What? Oh. She realizes that her new acquaintance might be more helpful than she first thought. Because Hazel has made a deal with Dr. Beachman, if she can pass the medical examination on her own, he will allow her to continue her medical career. That's not fair. Without official lessons, though, Hazel will need more than just her books. She'll need corpses to study. This is getting crazy. Luckily, she's made the acquaintance of someone who digs them up for a living. Okay, this is tea. But Jack has his own problems. Strange men have been seen soaking around cemeteries. His friends are disappearing off the streets and the dreaded Roman fe fever, the dreaded Roman fever, which wiped out thousands a few years ago, is back with a vengeance. Nobody important cares until Hazel. Now Hazel and Jack must work together to uncover the secrets buried not just in unmarked graves, but in the very heart of Edinburgh society. Ooh, I like it. I like it. I like it a lot. Oh my gosh, how many books? One, two, three, four, five. The last book, but not least. Not this having a... Not this having a Target sticker, bruh. Get out of here. Okay, it's Ace of Spades. I, I kept seeing this book on TikTok. I think this is high school. I know this is in high school. They're like in boarding school and it's some type of mystery. Let me just read the thing. I'm acting like I remember. Okay, I don't like when I, look it, and another mark. I don't like when I get books and they're already messed up. Like, leave that up to me to mess them up. All you need to know is I'm here to divide and conquer like all great tyrants do from aces. When two private academy students, Devin Richards and Chiamaka Adebayo, are selected to be part of the elite school's senior prefects, it looks like their year is off to an amazing start. After all, not only does it look great on college applications, but it officially puts them into the running for valedictorian too. Period. Shortly after the announcement is made, though, someone who, who goes by Aces begins sending anonymous text messages to reveal secrets about the two of them that turn their lives upside down and threaten every aspect of their carefully planned futures. Whoa. As Aces shows no sign of stopping, what seemed like a sick prank quickly turns into a dangerous game. With all of the cards stacked against them, can Devin and Chiamaka stop Aces 
before things become incredibly deadly. With heart pounding suspense and relevant social commentary comes a high octane thriller from debut author Farida. I don't know how to pronounce your last name, but it's beautiful. There it is. Oh, gee. No wonder people were eating this book up. This is a cool little end page. Matches the cover. I'm excited for all of these books. This is not sponsored. I bought these with my own coins, okay? With my own doubloons. Well, if you do want to sponsor me, let me know. Six books is the total. Six big books. These are kind of, well, like medium, medium sized books. But that's it. That's the haul, y'all. Um, thank you for stopping by and watching. I hope you enjoyed. Um, maybe I'll do like a video on a review of the books later. We'll see. I'm not going to make you a promise. But let me know if you've read any of these books because I, I just want to know. Tell me what you think. Let me know if you want to read any of these books. I'm going to show you all of the books I got. I've learned that I'm actually a person who prefers paperbacks over hardcovers. I thought I was a hardcover girl, but I don't know. Paperbacks just do it for me. It's a ton. It's a ton of books. And hopefully... You see me next time. Oh, I thought I was burning my hair. Okay. I really don't know. Pause this whole thing. I hope to see you never. Thank you for watching and.